Tyler Rudd looking strong in that first heat, though. So Steph got the jump on Sal on the Gold Coast in the semi-finals. Yep. But this is such a different location. It seems the advantage. Tyler's let go of some big moves too, but those big frontside hacks. Goodness me, they're hard to match. But here we go. We'll see how Sally fares here. Big bottom turn. This way fading away, so no big turns laid in just yet. Just transitioning through to this inside section. Nice floating re-entry there. But uh, that wave kind of got away from her a little bit. Let's have a look at this opening wave, Ronnie, and we can see just kind of caught behind on that first section right there. So missing that first opportunity, and then now that big swooping turn that we're so used to seeing from Sally, solid on her feet all the way to the finish. So not a big score, just a 4.17, but she's got her mojo going. She's got the cobwebs out, and uh, she's going to try now to apply some pressure on Steph. As we said before, the longer Steph waits, the better it's going to be for Sally. If Sally can uh, maybe sneak a wave underneath priority of Steph, that's what she's got to do. Just keep putting the pressure on. See, this is great. I love this move she's doing right now. Without priority, staying busy on the inside. A nice piece of water to work with here. Sal lays that board on rail, as she's done so well throughout this contest. Getting up on top of this section, so tricky. This inside bowl, and Sally eventually goes down. You know, in these kind of conditions, I don't think it's important really to have that priority. Let's see what went wrong here on this wave for, for Sally. Beautiful opening turn. Drew off that bottom a little bit too long there, and that kind of put her behind the eight ball, a little bit off balance on that turn, and then just didn't quite set the rail, so. You can kind of lay off on that bottom turn a little bit. Then you don't risk sort of washing too much speed off or, or, or hitting a bump. Get better and get myself on um, better waves to get more opportunity. Well, I've seen you out there every morning early, so you've done everything you can to build on that relationship with this break. It's a particularly difficult wave to ride and understand, isn't it? For sure. I've been out every morning. Um... Just a little bit more rail in the water due to the fact she is powerful and yeah, just carving through, posting the highest scores, running 973 and uh, 883. And back to live action. She's up once again, and a couple of really nice moves on this ride. And really leaning those bottom turns over hard so she can get up into that pocket. There is an element of risk. And that's the situation that Steph's going to find herself in, because have a look at the replay of this one. Well, this is just this is just absolute knowledge of the break right now. Sally surfed it like this every morning and knows that those, those little chip shots on the inside that grow through that section, this is her best wave, and this is really going to put a huge amount of pressure on Steph right. Gilmore. It's going to put her in a gentle com combo. Sally, on the other hand, well, she's free to roam, and that's exactly what she's doing. Well, her last wave is her best, a 6.33. She's trying to drop a 4.17 now. Strong first turn. And again, cutting back. Wants to take on her childhood friend, Tyler Wright, in the final. They're both from the south coast of New South Wales. You know, Steph's still in the game. You know, the, the, I think the beauty is it's a, a short wave, the right hand, a quick to get back out. So. If Steph reacts now, she's still in the game. Beautiful bottom turn into that trademark wraparound turn from Sally. Still drawing that one smooth bottom turn in these really tricky conditions. A little bit of a hiccup there. and Didn't quite connect with that last turn. So if it does better, that 417 will only be just running. Is Steph on a clean inside one? Let's see what she can do with it. Draws off the bottom. Decent first turn, a little extended. And she bogs down on that second manoeuvre. Interesting. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And Sally now gets an opportunity. And let's see what she does here. She's going to commit to this ride. So let's go that first turn. Lining up the inside. A steeper wall here. Floating re-entry. Trying to get rid of a 4.47. And can she hang on to this finish? Bouncing around at the foam. She does. So five minutes to go. And Steph Gilmore. Off balance on the first turn, and then just absolutely dug the rail on that second maneuver. Let's see if she can better it now. She's going to put some aggression into this move. Beautiful carve, a little slippery. The back foot came off on the previous ride, a 3.93. That gets her out of combination. She now just needs a 6.87. Here's the replay. Yeah, she's a little bit off balance on that first turn, and then just absolutely just buried the rail, which you don't want to do. Out, not out here anyway. This is wave number two carving and then just loses the back foot so yeah just I don't even know what to say about that yeah Sally's I mean she's done everything right but still kind of left the door open here she goes again or well, fading back 
Barton Lynch not a fan of that. This wave looks like it's standing up okay. 45 seconds to go. It could be Steph's last shot at it. Drives off the bottom. Cutting back. Needs more. Gets a section to work with here. Beautiful turn. The best turn of this heat. And she brings it through to the inside and throws everything at the final section. Had she ridden out of that move, no doubt she gets the number. It's probably going to be close on the strength of that turn as we see Sally now with an opportunity to shut it down. Bringing it through to the inside, has the end section to work with and can't stick it. Ten seconds remaining. And we'll wait for the judges to drop their scores. Steph Gilmore shaking her head. Just go for it. And that's all she's had to do this whole heat was just catch a wave. This first turn, let's have a look. Nice, smooth there. Didn't do anything too radical, but then watch this turn right here. Draws off the bottom and just hooks into it. That's better from Steph Gill. You know what? This could be the score, uh, Ronnie. It's, it's that close, but had she made that last maneuver, Ronnie, she definitely would have got the score. Second turn, as she just hooks into it. One of the best styles in the sport right there, both on men and women's tour. Just I love perfect. that move. Yeah, I mean, it's one of the best in the world. But then kind of had a little, hit a little bit of a bump right there. A little bit off balance, poking the nose in, and uh, goes down. So, you know, she pulled back just a little bit and finished that wave off. It was ultra aggressive, wasn't it? To attempt that on that tricky inside yeah. section. Here's the replay of Sally's ride pops. Yeah, Sally kind of missed that outside section. Again, that was better, not quite again. So I'm not seeing this wave really change Sally's situation, especially with the end result. She's trying to better a 5-1-0, that's not going to do it. So on this... On this occasion, I'm not sure whether that's going to be enough. This is the 6 3 three, kind of nice, smooth surfing there, nothing too radical. I love that deep low bottom turn she's got happening out here. And that was kind of a stock standard wave for Sally, you know, that she knew she was on a, a good wave, she didn't want to make any mistakes. Ronnie hit the nail on the head, if she hadn't made that wave, if she had finished off on her feet, even just pull back a little bit, 